All right, hey, welcome back to the big show. Well, for years, the animal rights group PETA has protested the way Kentucky Fried Chicken treats their livestock. But have these scantily clad chicks taking it over the line, and are liberal causes like this starting to get out of hand? We're joined by Greg Gutfeld, the host of Red Eye. Greg, don't tell me that you are against women in bikinis protesting. <laughs> you know what the greatest thing about this story is that they claim to be PETA members. I'm sure that if any of us went to an actual PETA meeting, we would not find anybody remotely attractive. <laughs> They're a bunch of lonely people. These, these are just models. It, what's ironic about this is they're protesting meat by treating women like meat. Meat. Cutlets, if you will. Oh, How is that? It's objectifying. I, it's, I don't appreciate the objectification of women. You got the whole bucket? So what is the problem with this Pass story? The chicken, what is the bro? Problem? What's the problem with KFC? What are they upset about? Uh, I guess the way they, I guess, you know, the weird thing about making fried chicken no. Chickens die in the process. Oh, is that the It's problem? really hard to keep them alive while you eat them. Right. Yes. Right. Uh, and they've been working on it. You but... deep fry them and then dip <laughs> yes. them in batter. But you know what? PETA is, PETA is becoming a joke in itself. Uh, they're only, they only make publicity through publicity stunts. People think it's funny, but it doesn't really advance the cause. It's just funny. We remember the hot girls. That's right. it. Right. And right. we're all eating chicken. Right. right. I can't you tell. must thank them. Yeah, now you you're making me hungry. Hey, that's right. I can't tell right now if I'm grossed out or hungry. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about the most pioneer sized environmentalists mm. and what they're doing to this, this cause is, strife. Yes, Echo Kids. These are basically uh, environmentally uh, conscious kids who are guilting their parents into becoming, you know, recycling more, to being more green. And I've read in places that they actually try to find their parents if they don't, if, if they're oh. not green enough. But now this is an amazing thing. I, this makes me wish I had kids so I could punish them. <laughs> but I don't have kids, so I gotta wait. But anyway, here's the thing. Okay, so these kids. Right. If these kids believe that you're bad, then, then arguably you could say all consumption is bad. Therefore, they shouldn't have iPods, they shouldn't have phones, because all of those things have a by, byproduct of consumption of waste. And consumerism, so take, right. Yeah, consumerism. <laughs> so take everything away from these kids and see what it's like to be truly green. Yes, and, Marty Pants. And there's a new, yes. story, and there's a new story out this morning, which just blew me away. I, I hope we can talk about this. That uh, There's some environmental movement now of, yes. afoot to keep parents from having more than two children. Yes. Why is this? Uh, they believe that... Now again, polluting the environment. This yeah. is a... This is a brain... It's a brainwashing of a culture that the environment is more... That environment is more important than humanity. In order to save humanity, you have to prevent people from having kids. It's the most backward way of thinking imaginable. The only people that shouldn't have kids are the people who believe in this crud. Yeah, so, somebody's and, and, ever, the, and, and the point is, policy. yeah, the one, well, they want to institute the one-child policy, but the point is, of course, that they believe that we're only replacing ourselves. So husband yeah. and wife should have two kids. But you, Three is wasteful, because you're destroying yeah, like, the environment. It's like every kid you have is, good, is like driving an extra Hummer. The funny thing about <laughs> it is, they, these people believe that, you know, if you don't have kids, you're preventing people from polluting. Well, that's like me saying, I'm not going to have kids, because I don't want him to be liberal. Um, mm -hmm. I'd like to hear a little. I have said that. I'd like to hear a little jingle about little, this, this right game. now. I'd like to hear a jingle, perhaps, with Joey Salvia, our Greg fun Gutfeld, he's a funny man. You can catch him on Red Eye. Every night on Fox News, he'll make you laugh until you cry. Oh, Allison Camerata thinks he's crazy too. Yeah, she calls him an evil elf dressed in a leisure suit. I, I do sometimes call you that. You're not not right. You're <laughs> eating. Hey, if you wait till last minute.